Welcome to Unit 1, Lecture 1. My name is Jorge Gavillan, and this is uh, Statistics 2023. And um, So for the first lecture, what we're going to talk about is essentially uh, sort of like an introduction to statistics. So here you see this image, uh, and it says that without statistics, we wouldn't know who won the election. So I hope that um, at the end of this course that you come away with a better appreciation of what is statistics and how much uh, stats we actually have around us. We need to, uh, we need stats to be able to know who won an election, uh, batting averages, uh, graduation rates, um, GPA. So all of those things use uh, statistics. So um, for this particular uh, lecture, what we're going to be talking about is uh, different things. The, the first objective is we're going to learn what is statistics. My hope is that you go through uh, my PHSC and actually uh, watch the video. It's about two and a half minutes uh, and it's uh, Dr. Pang and he actually gives a pretty good um, definition of what is statistics. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and talk about some statistical terms. So you're going to demonstrate some knowledge of some terms and then we're going to be able to uh, differentiate between the two branches of statistics. So what is statistics? Well, According to the American uh, Statistical Association, statistics is the science of learning from data and of measuring, controlling, and communicating uncertainty. And it thereby provides a navigation essential for controlling the course of scientific and societal advances. So that's a, that's a pretty formal definition. Um, uh, another definition is that statistics is the science of conducting studies to collect, summarize, analyze, and draw conclusions from data. So. Um, that's a, a really short um, definition of what stats is. So the science of learning from or making sense out of data, when, when we collect raw data, it doesn't really tell us much, so we have to do different things to it. Uh, summarize and analyze, and then of course we can draw conclusions. And then uh, the theory and methods of extracting information from observational data for solving real world problems. So statistics uh, it is is a field that actually has real-world applications, right? So it's not just solving for X. We're actually going to make sense out of data sets. So why study statistics? Well, hopefully at the end of this course, uh, it, you'll be able to actually describe the findings of uh, scientific and social research. One of the things in higher education and other fields is that uh, people conduct research and then they publish it and other people read them. and so when you come across some statistics, hopefully at the end of the course, you'll be able to uh, describe what it is that they're actually telling you. The other thing is that we're going to make decisions based on the data and then make estimations about a population. Now, number two, uh, a lot of businesses actually uh, do that, what they call business analytics. And then, of course, number three is just make estimations about a population. So the first thing we're going to talk about is a variable. And a variable is any characteristic whose value or attribute may change from one object to another in the population. So um, later on, we'll talk about some data sets. But a variable is uh, if, I'm, if I want to collect some information about a, a certain group of people, I can um, talk about the level of education, uh, their age, gender, um, how much money they make in a year. So those are all different variables for one specific population. So some examples uh, here would be x equals the brand of a calculator owned by a student. So if I'm collecting information about students, this will be a variable. Um, if I'm collecting information about websites, then y can be the number of visits to a particular website. Or if I am, um, if I work in the automobile industry, then uh, z can be the breaking distances of, of an automobile. So data results from making observations, uh, and either on a single variable all simultaneously on two or more variables. For this course, we'll be doing single variables and then two variables. Uh, we won't be dealing with uh, more than two variables. And then variables whose values are determined by chance are what we call random variables. And we'll talk about that more in Unit 3. And then a collection of data values forms a data set. So you'll hear me talk about data sets a lot. And then each value in the data set is called a data value or datum. So we'll study two types of statistics in this uh, course. The first one is descriptive uh, stats, which includes the collection, presentation, and description of the data. And then uh, the other one is inferential statistics, and this is the technique of interpreting the values resulting from descriptive techniques and then using them to make decisions and draw conclusions about a population. So uh, again, descriptive uh, stats is the collection and presentation and description of data. 
uh, this is what a lot of people call uh, exploratory data analysis. So here researchers try to describe a situation uh, from the data and they'll use things like the means, the standard deviation, or correlation. Uh, then they'll present the data in meaningful form. So raw data doesn't really have any form. There's nothing we can gauge from raw data, so we have to clean it up and make it look pretty. And then we'll present it in a visual form in charts, graph, or tables. Now, inferential statistics, again, uh, what happens here is that we make inferences from samples to populations. And we'll talk about samples and populations in a minute. So uh, inferential statistics use its probability to, to make those inferences from samples to population. So what is a population? And a population is just any specific collection of objects of interest. So if I'm interested in the population of students at Pasco and Anderson State College, then that would be my population. Uh, and a sample would be uh, the students taking my section of statistics in the spring semester. Now, most of the time, for many reasons, it's impossible to use an entire population. So researchers use samples. So a sample is any subset or subcollection of the population. So again, the, the example would be older students at PASCO, uh, and then a sample would be the students in my section of statistics. <coughs> Excuse me. So if the subject of a sample are properly selected, they should possess the same or similar characteristics as the subjects in the population. So we'll talk about sampling techniques later on, um, but you just cannot collect a sample in a haphazard way. You, you really have to be careful on how you collect a sample. Uh, so here we have a few um, examples. So by 2040, at least 3.5 billion people will run short of water. Nine out of 10 on the job fatalities are men, or experts say the mortgage rates will soon hit bottom. So is it is it uh, descriptive or is it inferential? And so the first one is inferential. And the reason being, is because there's no way that we could have sampled 3.5 billion people. So what essentially this statement comes from a sample uh, and a data analysis was done on the sample and then the inferences was made from the sample to a population. The second one, nine out of 10 on the job fatalities are men. This is descriptive uh, because here really what, what they did was they described a data set and they say, okay, so we have this data set about fatalities on the job and we found out that 90% of them are men, and, and so that's descriptive. And then here, uh, experts say the mortgage rates will soon hit bottom. Again, um, there's no way that they um, looked at every single mortgage rate. So they, they took a sample and then uh, made inferences. So that's the end of lecture one, unit one. Thank you.